All right, so let's look at. Um, sorry, welcome to this video. We are going to look, we are continuing from the differential theorem, and here we are going to look at the mean value theorem. All right, now the mean value theorem is divided into two. We have the first one of the mean value theorem, uh, which is dealing about functions, and the second one is about quality mean value theorem. I'll be giving the two of them to you right in this video. So let's look at this function. This function is a linear line. All right, this is a linear line. Oh, linear. Let me say linear equation. And this linear equation is two x plus one. So this is representing the graph of a linear equation two x plus one. Now here we can see that f of one is equal to three because when x is equal to 1, y will be equal to 3. And the y, is, the y here is uh, representing the function of what? 1. That is the f of x. So know that the f, y is equal to what? The f of x. So any value of y that you're looking for, you just replace the x. Now let's look at something here. When we replace x by negative half, we are going to get y to be, you, you see, this is negative half. And when you trace it to the top here, it's not like this that you are going to get the value of y to be 3. But here, when you trace it, whether upward or downward, you can never touch with the linear line. You can never touch with the linear line. Sorry for that. You can never touch with the linear line. So it will exist at the same point. So when you replace s by negative half, so at the point where s is negative half, your y is going to give you what? Zero. Alright, so let's look at this. In case you can't remember your slope formula and that is the change in y over change in x which is y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 don't forget that that one is projecting the idea of the mean value theorem the idea of the mean value theorem and this function this y1 and the y2 is the function, and the x1 and the x2 is the value of the x. So, with the same idea, you can see that the change in y over the change in x. And you know that from your calculus 1, the change in y over change in x is the same as dy dx, which is the same as f prime of x. And that is going to be equal to f of s, let me say, s2, let me use that, minus f of s1 over s2 minus s1. Alright, so from what we have here, we can say that our, sorry, it's not the derivative function. Our f of x2 is going to be 1, and that is this. This x2, x1. So x2, sorry, the negative half, x1. Then we can get our, we can get, okay, you, you let's move on. So that is x2 and then x1. So that is when you replace, when you replace, the x2 inside of the function is going to give you the y, which is 3. Alright. So when you replace 1 here minus, then this is negative half. Very good. Over, we are still with the idea of the mean value theory. We, I, I will state it for you, but before I state, I want you to know where it's coming from. Alright, because you're used to this. 
and this is going to give you, you know that when you replace one inside of this linear, linear equation, you are going to get 2 times 1, which is 2 plus 1, which is 3, and the same as what this is going, this is giving you. So we get 3 minus, and this you are going to get 0, because when you replace negative half here, you are going to get 0, 0, over this 1, 2 is going to give you 1 plus half, and that is going to give you 3 over 2. 3 over 2. So in our, we end up by getting 2 to be our answer. Alright. So you can see that the gradient, or the gradient, or the slope, or the divide the x, or the change in y over change in x, or the f prime, is giving you 2. And these two that we have here, now what? This is the derivative, right? This is the derivative. Now let's look at something here. We know that we have f of x here to be equal to 2x plus 1. We are going to see something beautiful. Now let's take the derivative of this and see what you are going to get. When you take the derivative of this, you are going to get 2 plus 0, which is 2. And this is exactly the same as what we have here. Oh, you can see that. Beautiful. This is exactly the same as what we have here. So, what at all is the mean value theorem saying here? So, the theorem says that. So, now let's now go and state the theorem. Uh, should I just wait for you to write it? The theorem says that. Let me write it on board. So therefore the theorem says that if we let f of s be continuous on a closed interval of a, b. Then that's the same as S2, right? Minus S infinity. So I'm using, since I'm using the interval of A, I'm using A2 here. When S not belongs to the open interval. Please, it's open interval, not closed interval. So now, that is what the main value theorem says. That's what the main value theorem says. That m bit says that, the theorem says that, let f of s be continuous on the closed interval, and f prime exists. So if the f prime is existing in this interval, then we can get the derivative for f. Function of the slope for such. Very good. So that is what that is telling us. Now let's look at the second part of the mean value theory. Let's look at the second part of the mean value theory, which is projecting the coach, which is projecting the coach. Please I would like to read it. So let's look at Cauchy. CH. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, this is rather Cauchy. CH. 
C-A-U-C-H-Y, culture. So let's look at the culture mean value theory, all right? It's just simple. So let me say that for you and let's go away. In fact, it's the same idea. It's the same idea. So we let So you see that for the culture, we have two functions. That is f of x and g of x. Therefore, that you will check if that is continuous on the closed interval of a b and the derivative of f prime and the g prime also the f prime and the g prime also exist. Exist on the same interval. So everybody this is going to be closed. So if this is closed, then this will be open. Right? One is closed, and the other will be open. Search that. Search that. They don't. Search that they don't vanish together. Then Very good. So that is what the main value theorem for culture is saying. We are seeing the same as the one that we did for the first part. All right, just that that one here was b minus a, but here since here is dealing with two functions, that's what is going to happen. Here. All right, don't talk much of it. Take you and see you in the next video where we are going to do the last part for the differential theory and that is intermediate value theory or that one, double